Last night, Old Dominion and over 7,000 of its screaming fans were ready to face Marquette. But of course, at game time, the lights went off and didn't come on until around an hour and a half later. That seemed to cause a letdown in the Monarchs and their fans. It did affect us uh, as far as uh, wanting to go out and just get it over with because everybody was kind of excited. And then all of a sudden, we were just in the locker room twiddling our fingers. Both Marquette and Old Dominion were cold at the beginning. Both teams only scored 55 points the entire first half. In the second half, the game stayed even, both teams making baskets back and forth. Michael Wilson stole the spotlight from Marquette. He gave the Monarchs fits. For ODU, freshman Charlie Smith made some crucial baskets near the end of regulation, but fouls hurt the Monarchs down the stretch. Mark West fouled out with a minute and a half left when he hacked Dean Markward on a layup. Markward made the basket and Marquette led by two points. However, with only 20 seconds left, Billy Mann saw an opening in the Marquette defense and shot through, tying the game at 61. That forced an overtime. But in that overtime, ODU lost Grant Robinson and Rodney McAdoo on fouls, and Marquette guard Glenn Rivers put on a show, scoring eight of 14 Marquette points, and the Warriors won by five, 75 to 70. Mike Springer, The Daily News. Well, they have very good guards, and uh, they, they played well. Uh, they penetrated a couple of times and went up and shot the little jumper over us, and they posted us a couple of times. Uh, when they posted us, if a shot hadn't have gone in, and when they drove down the lane and, and took the little shot, if it hadn't gone in, it wouldn't have hurt us that much. So, you know, they did a good job of executing when they had to. Mike Springer, The Daily News.